Buenos dias amigos, I've made it to Argentina, to Buenos Aires, I'm back in Latin America, I've made it to the country of Diego Maradona, Che Guevara, Lionel Messi and a huge inflation. No country in the world is suffering from inflation to the extent as Argentina. And yes, I've been, been in there for a day. And it's a beautiful city, very European, I have to say. And it's also a bit cold. I've arrived in winter here. It's not summer. And yeah, it's a bit chilly. But I look a bit rough from my time in Europe. I need a haircut. And that's the first piece of business for today. So let's get a haircut and I'll explore the city together. Vamos. That's why I left Europe again. Air cars are too expensive in Europe. I can't afford Europe anymore. That's why I had to fly down here to South America. Where are you from? Luxembourg, Europe. They were saying they were saying what for for us to get here. Yes, yes. Las Argentinas. Sí, por el Argentina. Sí. Las, las peoras son las colombianas, mexicanas y las argentinas. Muy buena en español. 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 Sí, fue en México. ¿En México? Sí. ¿La mexicana? Ay, muy pues, linda. Sí, muy linda. ¿Te pierde de dónde? No, es muy lindo. No, no, no. En el sur sí. En el sur, ¿En el sur sí. Pero en Ciudad de México y Guadalajara. Te pierde en Guadalajara. Las oh, peoras. Ahí sí, muy lindas. Sí, muy lindas. Muy, muy lindas. ¿Estuviste en Colombia? Sí, fue en Medellín. No tiene nada que ver con la víctima, ¿no? Uh, no, somos entre, entre uh, Bélgica, Francia y Alemania. Ah, ok. Entre esas. Ah, países. sí, ya sé. ¿no? Sí, somos un país muy chiquito. Pero tenemos una pero próxima lindo. lindo, sí, pero frío. ¿Mucho frío? Sí, mucho frío. Y en el... En el, en el ¿Cómo se llama? En el claro. summer. En el summer. Sabes, el otro, otro que verano. ¿Primavera? En primavera, sí. Okay. Es uh, demasiado caliente porque no tenemos la, la costa, ¿sabes? Oh. Es demasiado caliente, es como Paraguay, imagino. Yo fui a Paraguay. Sí. Uh, las paraguayas son muy lindas. ¿Sí? Mujer paraguaya, ¿no? No, 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 fue, no fue en Paraguay. Ah, no fui a Paraguay. Yeah. Paraguayas son lindas. Son muy bien. lindas. Sí, sí. The best atmosphere in football, guys. Sí, eso contra... Contra Platense, si no me equivoco. Contra Platense. Sí. ¿Qué? Fui a México. Me fui a Perú. Estuve en Paraguay. Y en Chile estuve una semana. ¿no? Chile. Wow. Chile debe ser guapo también. Pero es caro Chile. Chile, Chile es muy caro. Y no, no, no lo quieren. Chile no quiere a los argentinos. ¿Ah, sí? Uh -huh. Porque son vecinos, ¿no? También, sí. Con el tema de la guerra mundial y todo eso. Ah, ok. ¿Por qué? La guerra mundial de Chile fue... Chile ¿Qué? abrió paso para que entren los ah, ingleses. Okay. Yo no tengo problema, yo eso pasó hace mucho tiempo. Yo tengo amigos chilenos y no, no pasa nada. Sí. ¿Cómo se le dice abuelo? Eh, Grandes. Claro, no, los clones de los grandes de antes no son los míos. Sí, sí, eso, eso es mi... Es lo mismo con nosotros, con los alemanes. ¿no? Claro. Sí, sí. Bueno, claro, sí. Es el mismo. Todos los, nuestros abuelos no, no, no quieren los alemanes y todo, pero, pero uno mí no es un no problema. Sí. Ya pasó. Ya la pasó. Paz, paz mundial para todos. Alright right, guys, I've got my trim, which cost me a whopping 3,000 Argentine pesos, which is about $6. 5 euros and 40 cents and yeah where in the world do you get this service where in Europe do you get that service or in the West for six dollars so make sure when you come to Buenos Aires to come to this place if you need a haircut
Barber JD. Now guys, it's time to explore the city. One thing you've got to know when you come to Buenos Aires guys is don't pay with your cards. Don't withdraw cash here, don't go to an ADM. Make sure to come here with loads of cash, loads of dollars, loads of euros or loads of pounds. Why? Because this country is suffering, has been suffering for years from inflation and all that's the money, as the currency, the Argentine peso, is fluctuating by the day to an extent there's no other currency in the world. The people are making use of it by, by making themselves money, by offering you a better deal. When you come to Argentina and you don't bring cash with you, you're going to lose half of your money. Of course, when you come here and you change your money on the black market, you got double your rate, or maybe even triple your rate. In regards to the euro, for example, one, Arge one euro is about 360 Argentine pesos, officially. That's, the, that's the, um, the rate that the bank gives you. But yesterday, I got like 500 pesos, or even 600 pesos, for one euro. So. Keep that in mind guys, when you come to Argentina, you have to bring cash. Don't be ashamed to bring thousands of dollars with you, because you're going to use it, you're going to use it here. If you don't, you're going to lose half of your money. Pronto? Gracias, amigo. Okay, gracias. Ordered myself some delicious empanadas here, which cost me a whopping 750 pesos, about a bit more than a euro, one and a half dollars for three empanadas. And now, whilst I'm waiting here, I'll be sitting down. Yes, guys. What's well, pretty funny here in Argentina is the way they speak Spanish. <laughs> they speak like with an Italian accent. It's so funny, it's so different to all the other Latin American nations I've visited so far. I've been to Mexico, Colombia, and the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic was long ago when I was as a child with my parents. But yeah, I've been to Mexico and to Colombia, and it's totally different here. It's much more European. In fact, the Mexicans, they don't like the Argentinians at all, especially in football. And they jokingly call the Argentinians Los Europeos. The Mexicans call the Argentinians Los Europeos. And yeah, I guess, I guess why, because they are much more European. They are more, many Argentinians, not, not all of them, not even a majority, but some Argentinians are a bit whiter than than the usual Latinos. And also the city here, Buenos Aires, it feels pretty European, I can tell you. As a European boy, walking around the city, it doesn't feel much different to Europe. It feels like being in Paris or London or Barcelona some, some years. And yeah, the vibe is pretty European. But it's still, we're still in Latin America. So we're not in Europe. We're happy to be in Latin America. El país de los campeones del mundo. En fútbol y en inflación. Here in Argentina, they don't say pollo or botilla. They say pollo y botilla. Whilst I'm waiting here for my delicious empanadas to arrive, let me guys give you a sneak peek into what 50 euros get you here on the black market in Buenos Aires. Got you this. This huge bundle 
of 1,000 Argentine pesos bills. You're an instant millionaire here if you exchange $100 on the black market, it has to be said. I finally received more delicious empanadas. Here they are, guys. Have a sneak peek. Three delicious empanadas. I'm not going to bore you now by showing you how I eat them, but yeah, I love them. And when you come to Argentina, or Latin America in general, but especially in Argentina, you've got to try empanadas. So I'm now going to eat these, and then we'll explore the city. We'll continue exploring. You guys might be wondering why I'm wearing a hoodie when the sun is shining. But, guys, it's cold here, believe it or not. Super windy. It's the end of winter right now. And yeah, you should see the people around me. They're all wearing like winter jackets. No one can pretend that Buenos Aires ain't a beautiful city. Check it out. Beautiful buildings. I don't know what that is. It must be some kind of museum, surely. And straight ahead of us is one of the most beautiful and famous buildings of this city. Presidential Palace, La Casa Rosada, the Pink House, as they call it. I want to show it to you now, as soon as we cross the streets. Traffic here, by the way, is horrendous. It reminds me of Istanbul. It's one of the worst traffic I've witnessed in my life. From the airport, my bus took like nearly two hours to get to the center. And it was in the morning. It was like at eight in the morning, 8 a.m. that I took the bus. And here guys, check it out. The beautiful Casa Rosada and the massive Argentine flag. And loads of tourist scammers here, selling you drinks for ridiculous prices, as you can tell. But check this place out, guys. Beautiful. I'm now about to head to a very famous place here in Buenos Aires, a world famous place actually. But before that I want to show you guys, we're obviously here in a very footballistic city, you know. In a city, city that breathes football. And what shirts do you think they sell in here at the moment on the street? Apart from the Argentina World Champions shirts of course. The Inter Miami. Of course, Inter Miami. Of course. I mean, Messi. It's not from this city, but it seems that where he goes, Argentina goes. And now, guys, you might hear all the time, cambio, cambio, cambio. This is one of those places where you can change your money, where you have to come to change your money for the best rate. Bring cash, bring enough dollars, bring enough pounds, bring enough euros. Don't even bring your cards. If you come to Argentina, to Buenos Aires on a three week holiday or something. Just bring cash, leave your car back at home. Isn't it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just bring enough cash with you. And by the way guys, check it out. It's the world famous obelisk. And the incredible traffic of Buenos Aires. This, of course, guys, is the place where those crazy, mad World Cup celebrations took place. When Argentina won the World Cup against the bloody French back in November last year. Or December, I don't remember. But yes, this is it, guys, the obelisk. The most famous 
fight here in Buenos Aires and one of the most famous squares in South America. Probably every minute of every day of the year somebody is taking a picture here. Wouldn't surprise me. When I was backpacking through Mexico last year it was during the World Cup and actually when the final came closer and closer I was thinking and pondering about flying down from Mexico to Buenos Aires to watch the final and obviously celebrate with the Argentinians here in this square. Well, flights back then from Mexico down to Buenos Aires were flipping expensive. I mean, when I say expensive, I mean it. Prices were going through the roof. I mean, it was due to Argentina's performance at the World Cup. There were flights which cost like 800 to a thousand dollars from Mexico down to Buenos Aires. So obviously I'm not gonna pay that just to come down here and watch a football game. And for a party, you know, it's not worth it for a party, that amount of money. So instead I flew to Colombia after Mexico and had one of the best times of my life there. I fell in love with both Mexico and Colombia last year. And yeah, I'm now walking to another very beautiful place here in this city. I drove past it yesterday when I arrived at the airport and then took the bus towards uh, the city centre, towards my hostel. And yeah, I've now decided to walk there. Um, yeah, join me, as they say. Check it out here, you can sell your oro, your gold, if you're in the mood, if you want to make some cash. So if you want to make some money here in Buenos Aires and got some gold back at home, which you need to get rid of, you need to come here. You've got loads of options here. There's another one, Compro Oro. One thing I haven't told you guys yet about Buenos Aires is that people here don't really speak English. I mean, English is pretty low here, which is a common course in Latin American countries. Buenos Aires as a city, guys, it's pretty diverse. At times, when you walk through a street here, it feels like walking in Paris. At times, it feels like walking in Barcelona. And other times, it feels like being in Latin America. Like, the vibe changes from street, from block to block. It's crazy. Some streets also look like New York. I've never been to New York, but obviously seen pictures of it and everything. So, yeah. You could say Buenos Aires is like a Paris or New York or Barcelona with hot women. We've now arrived at the place which I want to show you guys. A place which is yet another example of the sheer beauty of Buenos Aires. It is the House of the National Congress, the Parliament of Argentina. And here it is, check it out. Quite impressive, isn't it? And the Argentinians are of Italian and German descent. That's because at the end of World War II, many fascists and Nazis fled with their families down here to Argentina. And legend says, well, conspiracy theorists in the West say that Mr. Hitler himself flew down here to Argentina and spent the last days of his life here in peace in the mountains between Argentina and Chile. In the West, of course, this is a conspiracy theory. He died in Berlin in the bunker. But here in Argentina, they treated, some people I should say, treat this theory like an uncomfortable truth.
guys, welcome to Puerto Madero, the port area here in Buenos Aires and also one of the more fancier areas in Buenos Aires and also one of its newest and most modern. I'm currently standing on the Puente de la Puente, I should say de la Mujer, one of the most famous bridges here in Buenos Aires. This bridge has also been part of some movies and telenovelas, in particular The Queen of the South, the Latin version and not the Netflix version. I reckon that this is the perfect place to end this first video here in Buenos Aires, this first video in Argentina and there's many more, there'll be many more videos to come and lots of more adventures, lots more things to explore and yes, I'm looking forward to it, so stay tuned there'll be more from Buenos Aires and more from Argentina so, with that being said Adios muchachos, suerte y hasta luego. Guys, off camera, after that last take, I've just got my first three Argentinian subscribers. So shout out to them when they see this video. And you can do the same, by the way. I'm not forcing you, but you could. I mean, if at one point, I'm not even doing this for the money, you know, but if at some stage I'll have enough subscribers, maybe, maybe I'll have a shot at Antonella Rucuzzo the wife of Neil and Messi and the women of my dreams. Maybe. So, please help me with that. And, um, yeah, do you like, what were their names? Tiago, Santiago and Tobias. Subscribe to my channel. Hasta luego, muchachos.